Now, for our next China card, we'll be packing some different samples of pottery and glassware. I've already placed a layer of crust in the bottom of my carton, so we're ready to start packing. We'll start with this large piece of pottery. You can see it's got a fairly large opening. We'll place a couple of sheets of paper inside the opening. This will help strengthen it. It also has a delicate handle. Take a sheet of tissue paper, place it around the handle, and put the majority of the paper inside the opening. Okay, place it on the stack of paper, and you'll need at least three sheets. It's a fairly large item, so you'll need to attach the paper with a piece of tape, and then place it into your carton in an upright position. Okay, our next item. Glass base. Once again, place some paper inside. I'll use tissue paper on this piece. Place it on your stack. Three sheets. And then place it into your carton in an upright position. Now for our next item, we have a decanter with a removable lid. Take your lid out. And it's a fairly delicate but heavy piece, so I'll take some tissue paper. We'll wrap it in the tissue first. And then I'll use two sheets of regular paper. Place it into your carton in an upright position. That just about finishes off my first row. Now I have to deal with the lid. Wrap it in a piece of tissue paper. Followed by a sheet of regular paper. And now to ensure that this doesn't get lost or mixed up with our crust, we're going to tape it and label it. Decanter lid. Our unpacking crew will see this and will be aware of its contents. I'll place that in the top of my carton later on in my packing. Okay, now what I will do is I'll continue with my remaining pieces and once I have finished my first tier, I'll place some crushed paper in between my pieces to prevent any movement, another layer of crushed followed by a piece of cardboard and we'll start our second tier. We'll continue this process until I've finished with my remaining items.